What's going on guys? So I've got a foreign disc video for you guys today. I'm going to be seeing what happens when I put a foreign disc in a CD player. Um, so obviously this is a CD player right here. Um, it's kind of funny because I actually just bought this about a week ago for like 20 bucks from Target because I couldn't find any CD player in my house. Um, I'm pretty sure I have some or used to have one, but I can't find it. Um, I also couldn't find any music CDs because I haven't used them in so long. Um, I just thought it was kind of funny. Um, and yeah, 20 bucks for this. I honestly thought it was a little bit expensive considering how old this, this stuff is, but you know, whatever. Made by Jensen. It's a portable CD player with AM, FM, stereo, radio. So they got two speakers on it. Um, and you know, basic functionality is you put a music CD in here, close it up, and this thing will load, and you can listen to music. Um, so I guess they got a stop button here, a back, forward, um, play pause, and they got um, RPT, which I think means repeat, like play the same song again, and then also program. I don't know what that means or what it's for, but yeah. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up my CD player and make sure it's on the CD functionality. And let's go ahead and put some foreign discs in it. Um, so first of all, i got my standard list of games. First of all, um, start off with Xbox. So we got Tony Hawk's Underground for the, the original Xbox. I'm going to put it in. And so when these two bars are flashing, that means it's loading, I believe. So let's see what happens. So it's still loading. We'll see if it's done anything in here. And it's spinning the disc. So maybe since this is, you know, this is like old technology, original Xbox. So I think it's at least trying. It doesn't, the uh, the CD player doesn't make much noise, honestly, um, compared to like a, some consoles or whatever. So that's not doing anything. Let's try the next one. Um, maybe this is, maybe original Xbox is too old for the CD player. Let's try Xbox 360. You know, this is like a DVD, CD format, whatever. Um, I think this might give us something. I'm not sure, though. Um, I'm thinking if something plays, obviously, you're not going to see any video. I mean, where would the video come from? Maybe this little screen is magic, and you can see a little video there. Actually, one of the pre be pretty sweet is if this little screen right here was actually a video screen. But, yeah, I, I don't think so. Um, so I'd expect it to play some kind of audio. Let me make sure I have my volume up, just in case. So, oh, that's a no. So it literally just told me no. <laughs> it's kind of funny how it says no. It's just like, it's a really brutal, brutal way of saying your disc didn't work. Um, so Xbox and Xbox 360 didn't work. I got the original Ed, Red Dead Redemption now um, for Xbox One. Now let's see what it does. Um, you know, I'm thinking if the Xbox 360 didn't work, I doubt the Xbox One will work since the Xbox One is so much newer than the 360, but let's give it a few seconds. Let's see if it's even spinning. I mean, it's spinning, but uh, there's just nothing coming of it. Um, I think if a CD worked, it would load a whole lot faster than that. Or maybe, honestly, maybe this uh, CD player just sucks. I don't know. Um, but let's go ahead and get into PlayStation games now. So PS1, Crash Bash, Classic. This one, honestly... Got a good chance of this doing something. This this seems about PS1 is about a time when CD players were huge. Oh yeah, here we go. So track one. It's, I'm trying to adjust the volume, make sure it's loud enough. But you guys probably can't hear it, but it keeps like making a little disc bing noise, like it's reading it. Um, but it's not doing anything. Dang it. See, look at that. It's spinning fast. So, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I, I, it loaded something. It just wouldn't actually play anything. I mean, it was showing one. It was showing track one, like it was on a, on a song or something. Um, but it wouldn't play anything. I had the volume all the way up. Nothing was playing. Um, but yeah, PS1 is most successful so far. Uh, I'm going to try PS2, GTA, Vice City. Let me see if I can get this thing out of the case first, though. All right. Here we go. Um, so PS1, yeah, it was pretty successful. Um, if only it had uh, played some kind of audio. Um, at least now we know PS1, if it does load, if something does load, um, the PS1 showed us that it should load within a few seconds. Um, this one still flashing. Oh, that's one, this one's not even spinning. That's lame. 
we know that wasn't going to do anything. If the disc is not spinning, then you know, you know it's bad. Um, let's go ahead and get the next one. Call of Duty Ghosts for the PS3. Um, now this is a Blu-ray disc, so I'm not thinking there's going to be much success with this. I don't, I don't even know if the CD's player is going to try to read a Blu-ray disc, but you know, let's see. So just flashing. Give it a few more seconds. I can hear a little bit of noise from it. I'm sure you guys can't hear the audio because the microphone I have is not going to pick up this little small amount of audio. Um, oh, that, this one was actually spinning. So PS2 game was not spinning, because but the PS3 game was. That's it's kind of interesting to me because you know I would think PS3 is a Blu-ray disc, so you know I don't I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea how the how the CD player is coded to work. Um, but PS4, as you just saw, put in GTA 5. Now let's see if we can get lucky on here. Um, highly doubt it. PS3 didn't work. I doubt PS3 will work. And it just tells me no. Brutally honest. Says no. It looked like it was trying to spin it. Um, so, so, so far we've done Xbox and PlayStation. Um, PS1 was actually pretty close. It seemed to load it, but it didn't play any audio. Um, let's go ahead and get to some, some Wii games now. So, or not Wii games, Nintendo games. Um, so Sonic Riders, GameCube. This is the first one we're going to try. Now this one should be interesting. Um, obviously it's a really tiny disc. Now this thing looks like it's... Should be fine. We'll see if it uh, tries to read it. So right off the bat, I can hear it a little bit. I can hear the disc spinning a little bit more audibly than the other um, games I've put in so far. Um, but it's not giving me any results so far. Give it a few more seconds. Maybe try skipping or... Repeat. I don't know. Pressing random buttons to see if something happens. Well, oh, it didn't even spin. Yeah, it's not even spinning. Come on, man. That's lame. I just let it sit in there for that long and it didn't even spin. Oh, man. Lame. All right. We, Mario Kart. Another classic game. Let's put it in. Um,. I don't even know what format disc you would call a Wii game. Um, it's probably some kind of proprietary stuff because I doubt it's like a CV, CD or DVD format. And I know it's not Blu-ray. Um, so here we go again with these flashing lights. Nothing yet. So it was spinning, but you know, it wasn't doing anything. So I'm just going to put that one away. And let's try Wii U. Nintendo Land. Um... Let's see what we can get here. If the Wii didn't work, I doubt Wii U will work, but you never know. Um, let's see. That's what we're here for, is to try it out and see if it works. You know, If we didn't try it, we'd never know. So it's still flashing again. Um, let's see if it's spinning. It is spinning. And it stopped spinning. Alright, so done with Wii U. Um, so we've done PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. Um, not too much successful f so far. The PS1 was close. Uh, a couple other discs were spinning. Um, a couple of them just told us straight up no, which is pretty savage to be honest. Um, let's try a few more out. Uh, so we'll save the movies for last. Um, we got a couple, a couple games here. So Hidden Dangerous for the Sega Dreamcast. Now let's see what this does. Um, all right. So it's definitely louder. Make sure I have volume all the way up. All right, so it got me some tracks here, but I'm not hearing anything. And my volume is really high. What is track two? Warning! Oh, this disc is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. All right, do you guys hear that? Let me play that again. It's not trying to play. Come on. Warning, this disc is for use only on Sega Dreamcast. All right, so we got some success. It played something. Um, first track didn't play anything though, which is weird. Second track worked. It's in there spinning. Um, so I've heard that I've heard that um, that warning on a couple other consoles as well. Um, for some reason, Sega Dreamcast is a savage and it, I guess if you put the, the disc in the wrong console, it'll actually tell you. So that's pretty cool. Sega Dreamcast worked. It had that's interesting though. It had two tracks, and only the second track played anything. And it said like warning, 
this is only for use in a Sega Dreamcast. Obviously, this is not a Sega Dreamcast. This is a CD player. Um, but I don't know what track one was, but it didn't do anything. So let's try out a PC game now. Next. So Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I feel like this one might actually play something since it's probably got some kind of audio. Yeah, here we go. So we got track one, but it's not playing anything yet. Um, so I got my volume up. It's like it's trying to play something. Like I can almost hear a little bit through the speakers, but not much. Um, let's see if there's another track. Hold on, let me try to take that out and put it back in. Um, see if there's a second track or anything. No, it's only one track, and it doesn't actually play any audio. That's weird. So it's kind of like the PS1 where there was one track, but it doesn't actually play any audio. It's like it's trying to, but there's just something wrong with the format that it can't quite play it. I'm not sure if that's the CD's fault or you know this this uh, the CD player's fault. I'm gonna blame it on the CD player. Um, so Sega Saturn, let's try that. I think we might have some success here too, since all these all these older games are have some sort of CD format compatibility in them. Um, oh, 22. What in the world? Track one. Oh, we might have some music here. Okay, that's not doing anything. Track two. Oh yeah, there we go. That was kind of loud. Let me turn that off. So we got some music there. Track three. Nice. So I'm not gonna play too much of that music in case any of that music is still like copyrighted or anything. I don't know. Um, but it looked like I had 22 tracks on there, and we can play legit play some music from Daytona USA. Um, and it definitely, from first glance, it sounded like the actual music from Daytona USA, um, from the little amount I've played this game. Um, so that's pretty cool. Had a few successes in a row, um, actually playing actually playing music on this thing from a, from a game. So that's pretty cool. Um, got a couple more left. Um, so we got Charlie Brown, if I can get this out of the disc player. All right, so I got this Charlie Brown CD. Um, got some movies. Let's try them out. These are Blu-ray, so I'm not thinking there's going to be much success, but you know, since it's a uh, it's a movie that's got music in it, maybe it'll load it up. I don't know. Let's see. I'll give it a few seconds, and nothing. So it's spinning, but nothing happened. Um, and next up, we got a DVD. So 21 Jump Street. Um, this might. You know, this is a DVD format, probably has some music on it, so I'm thinking this might give me some audio. I'm hoping so. Let's see. Give it a few more seconds. It's not doing anything yet. Um, okay, that's kind of lame. I thought the CD or the DVD might give me some sort of audio, but it, it didn't. Um, and as usual, none of my disc games, but I got a couple surprises left for you guys. I've got a Nintendo 64 game and a Game Boy Color game, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but oh crap, it fits pretty well in there. It's like it was made for this. Um, Alright, so 0-0. Zero, zero. Let me see if I can do some kind of button combination, like one of those cheat codes where you press like forward, back, repeat, pause. Ah, uh, nope. So Nintendo 64, not compatible. Game Boy Color, I'm thinking it might actually fit in here. Right on here. Oh, it, crap, it fits in there. Oh, I think it actually tried to spin it. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. Um, obviously, it didn't load anything, but it, it actually tried to spin the Game Boy Color game. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Um, so there it is. There you have it, guys. Um, now you know what happens when you put a foreign disc in a CD player. Uh, obviously, we actually got a few games to, to work and play some music. Um, I thought a few other games would work. Um, they, were trying, they looked like they were trying to load, and they showed a track, but they didn't play any audio, which was weird. Um, but yeah, here you guys have it. Um, if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link in the description. I honestly don't know why you want to buy it, but in case you do, it's in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.